You want to play on your friend's world. So let's say, if pretend this is your friend, you see he has a world that you want, like BBB boys, okay? There is a few things you need to do to be able to play your friend's world. Yes, this still works. I'm putting this in the title, it's PC only. So this only works on PC. With that out of the way, what you need to do is to make sure the saved world is locally saved. So what that means is you need to go to manage saves and notice how this says move to cloud. If it was not on the cloud and if it is on the cloud, it will say move to local. If it is local, it will say move to cloud. So right now it's local, like how it's supposed to be. You can also tell by the uh, symbol. So for an example, if I move this to cloud, there, cloud symbol instead of actual save symbol. And it'll say move to local. You move it to local, now it says that. All right, so once you've done that, you then need to click Windows <coughs> and type in run, okay? Once you have run typed in, you need to type in what it says right here. Percent, app data percent. And click OK. It's going to open this file. It'll probably take you to roaming. If it doesn't, it'll be at app data. You need to go to app data and go to local low and click iron gate. All right. Once you have iron gate clicked, go to Valheim. And then this is the important part. It needed to be saved to local, like I said. Click World's Local, and here you go. It'll have all the files, all right? The two files you need is the .db of your world and .fwl of your world, okay? If you have the .db old and .fwl old, you do not need to send that. You only need to send the new ones, okay? You can also tell what's the newest one by the timestamp, okay? So then, when you get those, what you want to do, you're going to want to send these files to a friend, okay? So the way you could do that, and the way me and my friends do that, is three email, okay? So you notice there's three here, and it's not really how you're supposed to do it, but you want to click reply, minimize it, and in the reply section, you'll want to copy both of these on Windows 11 it'll have a two page symbol near this area on Windows 10 it just says copy because whoever made Windows 11 is an idiot um, and then you'll want to paste it and oh look at that the files have been pasted right then you just click send it'll send it will look like this when it looks like this you will want to click download alright once you have it downloaded then <coughs> want to have your world local still well you won't have it open because your friend probably did all this to send it to you this is the part where you are now receiving the world or if you're the friend sending it this is how you teach your friend how to put it in their world's local okay so it's very simple as we just did um, I'll just click this just close that all right, it's very simple. So you just need to go to File Explorer. Okay, it'll be in Downloads. I don't have it in Downloads because I didn't download it again, but it'll say BBB, uh, not BBB, um, the world name .db and the world name .fwl. You'll copy it, or if you don't need to copy it, you could literally just, you know, drag it and move it to the file directly that's probably the best way to do it because copying can lead to issues so you just move it directly in the world's local and um, when you do that you will then have everything show up in here now to get to this like I said you have to actually like start the game click run click percent app local to get it to kind of where you want it to um, or you don't have to start the game either but if they are in the game already when they do that step they will need to restart the game for the world to show up let me go over a few issues of this as well one issue is the world local tab won't even show up if your friend does not have a world already created that is local it only show worlds or server list 
So your friend either needs to convert a world to local or create a local world to have that file in the Valheim section actually show up as worlds local. And then, you know, proceed with the steps accordingly. Um, and so, for example, this is not my world. This is my friend's world. Um, load in. Everything on my friend's world is properly here. Um, there's a few things about the worlds that I'll say real quick. One thing is wherever you logged off, you will be. So it actually saves your log off point. Um, another thing it saves is everything in the chest, everything, all the bosses. There is nothing that will be different to your friends logged off or they logged off. They'll still be there. Everything about the world saves perfectly. And I think that makes this not only the best method, but also extremely cool on how it saves all of that detail it really sucks that there's not a well the, i mean this wasn't a complicated way i would say but it just sucks there's not an easier way like built into the game like send world a friend or share world with friends you know but at the end of the day it's super easy on pc um and probably impossible on console which sucks unless you can somehow get like a file thing to show up on your console of course it's probably possible but um yeah this seems like a pc only method to me so um yeah thanks for watching the tutorial i hope this was more helpful than a bunch of those videos that i watched on youtube that seem to just talk to me like i'm an idiot because i am an idiot and i still didn't understand <laughs> um so I hope I explained in a way that's super beneficial, but wasn't too uh, annoying for the people that understand how file sharing and all that works.